What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W and today we're going to go over, well we're just simply going to react to some TikTok influencer traders and guys, oh my god, this one's a good one. <laughs> Check it out. All right, guys, so look, this one, we got a handful here, and some of these are really, really good. You're not going to want to miss them. We're not going to waste any time. Do me a favor, smash the like button, and let's go ahead and jump right on into this thing. All right, so here's the very first one, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, click play. I woke up late today. Terrible day. So let's see what we got here. What, what are we working with here? Um, he's up 8900 bucks, 35%. Um, he seems to have triple digits quantity here on has to be it has to be yeah yeah um has to be calls seems like it's some sort of hundred dollar call up here really hard to tell from march the average price he has is 251 on these calls the mids at 340 i don't see where the bids at so that's what he has there he's up 8900 bucks not bad it's really good that's really good money to lose your phone and wake up late. So wait, he lost his phone and he woke up late? Did you lose your phone while you were sleeping? What did you do? I went from this yesterday. So he was up. What was that? Let's rewind that a little bit. He was up on these $100 calls expiring t March 12th. He was up 421%. Good Lord, $105,000. Golly, the the mid now was at thirteen ten. But I don't know why we don't see the bid in the ask. Maybe it's behind his head or something. To this this morning. Wait, how did you? Wait a second. Are you saying you were up a hundred and some odd thousand dollars the day before, and you could have taken the profit, but you decided to just not? And now you're crying because you're saying you woke up late. Something tells me that no, something tells me there's a whole lot else going on here. How did you go from being up a hundred and what was it? Let's go check. Let's check that out again, guys. How did you go from being up $105,000 to being just up 8,900? Why didn't you not? What made you think not to take that profit off the table there? Like, look, right now, you clearly seem like you're a new trader, right? Do you make that kind of money in one year? Do you make less? Do you make more? Because if you don't make that in a whole year, in fact, if you make way less than that in a whole year, even if you make double that in a whole year, why would you not take that when you made it in a few days, right? And look, I don't trade my P&L because I trade patterns, right? But... If, I, if, if, if I've reached my pattern and my profit target is hit, I'm going to take it. I would imagine if you're up $105,000 and you're definitely a new trader, you would take that off the table. I mean, dude, you could have taken, if you're like a new trader, you could have easily just taken the year off at that point. Oh, but just, you got to pay taxes. Yeah, you're going to pay taxes. You probably still could have taken the year off. You know, you could have done something or be smart and bought an investment property. But hey, I digress. My man here went from being up 105,000 to just up 8,900 bucks. Well, that's good money. All right. This one says here, everyone is, everyone is like buy stocks. They only go up. Hmm. This is going to be a good one. Everyone's like buy stocks. They only go up. Does the company you own even make any money? Have you ever lived through stock market correction? Yeah, because it's not going to be very fun when that stock you own that doesn't make any money and then can't raise any. It's not going to be very good when that happens. Talk to me then. Whoa, that was a whole lot of facts. I am. Um, I don't. I have to go read those comments because I can imagine the diamond hands laying into her, talking about how she doesn't know what she's doing because stocks only go up. But she put out a hundred percent facts in that video right there because the reality is, if you 
don't know anything about the stock market and you're just buying these popular stocks thinking that they just go up because that's all stocks do well you're in for a very 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 bad surprise once we enter into the next bearish cycle in the market when stocks don't always just only go up but good companies only go up right so that's something that that has to be said and a lot of people are going to be in for a huge surprise and they're going to get hurt so hard they're probably going to create you know generations of people who won't touch the stock market again so you got to be very careful with that get informed get educated if you're not familiar with the market in the description section and comment section you can find a link to my free course go ahead and download that and it'll give you like a little 101 on the stock market now let's move on to this next one here and uh, let's click play oh let me tell you something if you're new and you're looking for a better broker we will is down there. Just download the app, fund your account with a hundred bucks. It's in the description section and comment section, and you're gonna get two free stocks that equates to free money. Check this out. So I got a little drunk last night, and I wanted to do a little trading. Wait a second. Is he drunk trading? Are you drunk trading? Good lord. Only problem is stock markets closed that night. So stock markets closed, and that constitutes stocks are dead. Ah, oh, but BTC rocket ship, rocket ship, rocket ship. Let's go. Bitcoin's not though. I saw Bitcoin was in this descending channel and it began to break out right. This red line is my entry price. I'm still new to trading Bitcoin, so I only put 22 bucks, but we used 30x leverage. I woke up. Just what could go wrong? This morning, super hung and saw that it was up over 230%. Bitcoin blasted off 8.5% from my entry price to where it currently sits. Lesson learned. Trust your gut feeling. Sometimes a little luck is all you need. So then, my man there figured out the key. Just trust your gut. Don't worry about that pizza you ate the day before that was uh, a little bit older than it should have. Just trust your gut and go with that because sometimes a little bit of luck is all you need. I don't know. These days, I don't even know anymore, guys. Let's move on to this next one. Tell me you're broke without actually telling me you're broke. <laughs> so Friday, I was day trading CCIV calls. The stock ended up closing five, negative five, negative seven percent. My account did minus 30 percent. I ended the day uh, buying all March calls, entire account in March, entire account in March calls for CCIV. Knowing damn well they were announcing the merger this week and it's been riding up in the anticipation for the merger. I'm nervous for him already. His entire account in March calls on CCIV. Because like he said, knowing well, the merger was going to happen. Well, they announced the merger, all right. And the stock dips 17, 18 percent after. So now my calls are probably going to open up at like minus 50, minus 70 percent. It's going to be morbid tomorrow. Did you see his face? Oh, my God. Let's just rewind it a little bit. Look at this guy's face. The face of desperation, the face of an uneducated trader. Guys, it's a known, it's a known strategy. Buy the rumors, sell the news. For, for days, weeks, weeks, CCIV was under the, the rumors of the merger happening, the merger happening, the merger happening. Nothing concrete yet. The stock building, 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 went up huge. What in the world makes you think that after they fully announced the merger is official? Hey, it's here it is. That the stock is going to continue going up? No, all those people who bought for that news, as soon as the news hit, sold. This happens all the time. It's called buy the rumor, sell the news. But when you don't understand how the stock market works, when you don't study, when you don't educate yourself, these are the things that happen. So what I'm telling you, get down there, link in the description and comment section. My free course is there. Check it out. You have to educate yourself. Let's move on to the next one because I think this next one is probably the one that's going to take the cake. Steve Jobs goes to Microsoft CEO reacts to the first iPhone, the very first iPhone. Steve Jobs goes to Macworld and he, he pulls out this iPhone. What was your first reaction when you saw that? Five hundred dollars fully subsidized with a plan. I said that is the most expensive phone in the world and it doesn't appeal to business customers because it doesn't have a keyboard, which makes it not a very good email machine. Not a very good email machine because it doesn't have a keyboard. My God. I wonder what happened to this guy afterwards. Look, man, we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. But you should never, one should never reach the level where something new is laughable, right? You should always try to look at all the angles because, my friend, they're still here. And 
for business. Honestly, if it wasn't because of business, I probably wouldn't even have this iPhone. I'd have another, like an Android or something like that. But because of business, I like my iPhone. It's very, very user-friendly, very quick, and it just works better for me. So, golly, can you say he made a mistake? Not to mention every single phone that's popular has no keyboard other than the keyboard on the screen. So I guess you can email just fine by touching the screen, huh, buddy? Oh my God, guys. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this edition of Day Trader Reacts to TikTok Traders. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you want me to make more of these. I haven't done one in a little while, so I figured I'd just pop out another one for you. Smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll catch you on the next one.